Today is the fourth Sunday of Advent, and we are focusing on the word love. I bet most of all of you say that you love something or someone every day. I love Christmas time, or I love cookies. I personally love Diet Dr. Pepper. I love Mr. Andy and my kids. You've probably told your parents you love them, or your siblings, or your grandparents. Do you think people like to hear you tell them that you love them? Of course they do. But do you know what most people would like even more? They would like for you to show them that you love them. What are some ways that you could show people that you love them? Well, you might help out around the house, or you could clean your room or empty the trash. You could show your parents love by obeying them when they tell you to do something. You can show your siblings love by getting along with your brothers and sisters. You can show a stranger love by smiling and saying Merry Christmas. You could show someone in need love by meeting their need of food or of a gift or of some time. It's easy to say, I love you, but most people will know that you love them if your actions really show it. Do you think that God likes to hear us tell him that we love him? I know God does, but God likes it even better when our actions show that we love him. So how do we do that? The Bible tells us that God showed his love for us by sending his one and only son so that we might live through him. It goes on to say that since God loved us so much, we ought to love one another. One of the best ways to show our love for God is to love one another. Yes, God likes to hear us say, I love you, but God would rather see us say, I love you. As we celebrate Advent and the greatest gift of love ever shown in Jesus' birth, let's tell the world that we love them. But let's more importantly, remember to show them that we love them. And as we worship today, let's tell God we love him. But more importantly, let's remember to show God our love by loving one another. It's finally time to help Mary and Joseph arrive in Bethlehem. It's almost time to bring in your angels and shepherds and baby Jesus, but not yet. Everything we've been anticipating all season is about to be celebrated. So as you light your fourth candle on the Advent wreath, and as you continue to talk and wait with your family, think about the ways that you can show Jesus' love to one another and to the world.